Well, hello there, Aries. It looks like in the midst of you handling chaos, you know someone is watching you. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is an Aries Tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. I almost flipped all the way over. We'll see if it comes out. The call. Number one. Honor the whisper of your soul. And you're in great company. Number 16, reduced to a seven. Pull back to propel forward. This is about safeguarding your energy. That you don't need to, that you have a good support system around you, but that, um, okay, um, that you have a good support system around you, but to kind of like, you know how, um, when someone's renovating their house, they put a temporary chain link fence around it, um, until you know all done and then it's taken away and you reveal this beautiful house afterwards it's kind of like that it's almost like you're being guided to put that fence up around yes you have a good support system and all that's great and wonderful in order to kind of repair and course correct is how it's coming across this is limiting other people's access to your energy while you evolve Okay. Show me what's going on with Aries, please. If they're in such great company, show me what's going on with Aries. The world. Fixed energy. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius for this keeping track. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Page of Swords, first card out, Eight of Coins, Five of Cups, Queen of Coins, Two of Coins, King of Wands, Leo Energy, Page of Cups. Hmm. I'm going to read this side is you, this is them, this is the situation. I feel like your support system could be watching you. <clears throat> um... This is specific for someone. It feels like someone's, um, your support system is watching you struggle with your kid, kids, kid. Okay. It's kind of like just like trying to grab onto resources, trying to make things happen, trying to keep things going. You're, you're trying to do it all. You're trying to be it all. Yeah. There's. And it's not that you're not utilizing your great company. I'm interested in the details of this page of swords, which we'll get to in a minute. Do you. I mean, this is a very general. But it almost feels like there's something, there's some emotional thing going on with the kid or kids. Okay, some. I mean, it could be at school, it could be with parents, it could be with bully, it could be anything. But there's something, some emotional roller coaster thing there with the child or children. Something there. And I feel like you're trying to keep it together and be everything. The stability and the fun. Okay. I'm hearing, what do I do? Okay. Give me, let's get the details on the page of source. Let's start piecing this together. Hermits, part of Virgo, six of cups. Six of Wands, Emperor, Card of Aries, Four of Wands. 
So you may not feel like you're reaching a point of stability, but others are seeing that you are. Others are seeing that you are. Just the Four of Wands, please. It, it's going to take a bit of a fight to get there. Okay. Okay. I feel like there is a review of a um, situation with a past person that crumbled. That ended with quite the fight. Um, that was a bit of a challenge for you. That ended up being something that was heavy for you to carry. So it was more of a burden than it was a blessing in the end. Um, there's something here where if you're going along and it feels like life is falling apart and now your kids are going haywire for whatever reason and you're figuring out how am I going to continue to be everything that they need, I need, etc. Okay. Um, there's like whoever the past, per like just the previous connection was that was like this. If there's anything entering your mind where it's like, almost like it'd be better if they were around versus not, that's not the case. This person is also watching you and what they see from their vantage point is you doing well. See, it's all a matter of perspective. They see you doing well. Because they see you doing well, they know they can't try to resurface in your life. So do you see the difference in vantage point? Whereas, like, you could use the help of a partner. You've got all this going on in your life, your kids, your job, and stuff. There's, but this person, from their vantage point, they see you as victorious. Okay, kind of keeping to yourself, making things work, overall looking successful. It's interesting, people's perspectives, right? Show me the eight of coins for Aries. Five of wands, three of cups, one more. Star card of Aquarius. Hmm. So balance is coming. Pisces Libra energy. Balance is coming. It's going to be triggered by the universe. There's it looks like there's just a little more struggle. <laughs> but the refuge of the of your chosen family, aka your friends, is is going to help you get through this. It's going to help you get through this. This is a faded cycle. This is going to help you str become stronger in, in a certain kind of way where this blows over. It resolves. You're left with a little bit of a thicker skin. So the next time something like this happens, you nip it in the bud quickly. Be patient. Happier times are ahead. Yes. <laughs> Show me the Queen of Coins, please. The Queen of Coins. Eight of Wands, Justice, Card of Libra, Strength, Card of Leo. Mm. This person is going to try to resurface in some kind of way. Show me with the Eight of Wands. This feels quite literal. The chariot feels literal. Like they're going to pull up at your house. Um, that's Cancer um, Taurus energy with the Hierophant. Ten of Cups. This feels like a proclamation of I was happy, happiest with you. Can we do commitment? And I feel like this is someone proposing commitment when it's nothing that they asked for previously or wanted previously. Show me the King of Wands. Two of Wands, Magician, Six of Coins, Ace of Wands. There's something here where you're being called to review how you manifest when it comes to, specifically how it comes to your self-worth. Okay. Um, this is a call. I see the motivation to manifest a new partnership. 
Okay. But beware. Make sure you manifest the one who is generous and not charitable. Do we understand the difference? Charitable is they give what little that they have. A little. They give a little. It's like here's donating to charity. You don't donate your whole check. You donate a little. Versus generous. Who is over who is giving without fail endlessly giving because they want you to have okay there's a self-worth thing with the six of pentacles so when you think about manifesting a new partnership you have to really hone in on your words what you're asking the universe for okay i want a partner who's this 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 and this and generous to me not charitable generous one the words we use change everything okay let's get into this side the kid side show me the five of cups Justice card of Libra. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups. Interesting. So could could child custody have been settled or because this feels like a, this feels like a situation that was already settled. Like um um Having to go back to court for something? Having to go back to... Oh, having to go back to court for something. Because it feels like one parent works very hard and the other one is emotionally unavailable to this child. I'm not saying that this past person and the child's other parent is the same person. I'm not saying that. But because this could be two different people. Because, again, this doesn't feel like... Divorce and custody just happened. It feels like going back to court. This could be why the child's flipping out. Got it. It's why the child's flipping out. Okay. Of who, maybe they threw a tantrum of who they, which parent they actually want to be with. Something to that effect. Because it's showing me one parent is hardworking. And the other one is emotionally unavailable. Show me the two of coins, please. Show me the two of coins. Three of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Sun, Leo Energy. Beautiful. Queen of Pentacles again. You have Queen of Pentacles twice. It This has given me the vibe that if your mom, or just the feminine and the dynamic is coming up as mom with Queen of Pentacles twice, um, you're, you're, you're doing fine. You're, you're doing fine. None of that looks negative. So and your kid sees it that way. Time with mom is not negative. It's the sun. That's the happiest card in the deck. I learn the most. I have the most fun. Mom is my friend. Mom mom is positive space. Okay. It's like it's like I like being with mom. That's how it's coming across. Show me the page of cups, please. Eight of Wands. So the child is going to tell you something to the effect of, although I don't want to go see dad, because I don't like spending time with dad. He's not emotionally there for me. I don't want you to spend money on this. Like spend like legal fees. I don't want you, I don't want you I don't want you to lose money. I don't want you to lose money because it would, in their mind, it's showing that it would disrupt stability of the home, whatever that situation is. They're, it's like they're equating, you put it, you, like if the child doesn't understand how bills are paid in the house, which is technically, I mean, if they're a little kid, they don't need to. But if there's something where there could be a, um, a scarcity mentality that happens a lot with children, um, where it's like, are we not going to have enough? 
if mom pays legal fees, are we not going to have enough for rent or mortgage kind of thing? There's some sort of association there. Okay. So two different things happening here. Three different things happening here. But know that in your child dies, you're doing great. You're doing great. Okay, what does Aries actually need? <laughs> Your wish is for this to be over. <laughs> I don't blame you. After over, what do you want? <laughs> you want love? That isn't a fucking burden, and it's coming across with the emphasis on the F word. <laughs> King of Cups, Scorpio Energy. Do you want anything to do with this past person that wants to come back around? That says maybe, but this says not really. Which tells me that there's enough feelings still left over for you to be like, I don't know. Things changed. It ended up we fought. Yes, it was love. I know I want to be happy. But do you want this person, though? You don't know. I should start new elsewhere. I should. Doesn't mean you want to. You should. Okay. So I will head over to the extended. I will look into this person who comes back. If it goes to shit, I will get some information on someone new. So you want love, but the kind that isn't unburdened. So it's just a matter of, has this person actually changed? While well, you're in the middle of dealing with chaos. Okay. <sighs> okay. I'm going to head over to that extended. See what's going on with this Leo, Libra, Sag energy. Um, I'll see what's going on with them in their current energy near future. And the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So, if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Bye.